Before I can do anything in Photoshop, it's very important for me to have a clean, clutter-free work area. I'm going to quickly show you how I organize my Photoshop workspace. Once I have opened Photoshop, I look to the panels on the right to ensure I have everything I need and only everything I need. If there is a panel I do not need, I simply select it. I can either pull it out to my board and then click the X, or click on this menu and click Close Tab if I just want the one panel to close or close group if I want all of the panels inside of it to close. If there's a panel I would like to have that I do not already see in my workspace, I can go to my top menu bar, click window, and then I can click the check next to the panel that I want to make visible to me. If I prefer a panel to be somewhere else within my workspace, I drag the panel's top bar to where I want the panel to go. From my workspace, I like to have my navigation on top, then below that are my layers and my paths. In this mini sidebar, I have adjustments, brushes and brush preset, character and paragraph for when I'm adding text, and then my history and my action. These great blue guidelines help me to ensure I'm placing the panel in the correct spot. Another note is that I have my history set to 99 states instead of the default of 20. You can make this adjustment by going to edit in your top navigation panel, select preferences, then performance, and then adjust your states to 99. You may set up your workspace as you see fit, but this arrangement works best for me. Once you're done, you can save your workspace in case multiple people utilize your Photoshop, or if you like for your workspace to be set up differently for various editing needs. Simply go to this top drop down, click New Workspace, enter any title you like, hit OK, and now you've saved your workspace for later.